Hey guys, what's up? So, sorry for the late Rebels recap, but like I said, my schedule is going to be a little bit uh, unorthodox for a while, so if I get anything done, like I said, it'll be the Rebels recap. So, Ghost of Geonosis. I saw. Saw. Yeah, no, sorry. So, even though this is a two-part episode, this recap won't actually be that long, but feel forward to skip to the review portion after the recap if you don't want to recap or if you've already seen it and you pretty much have already seen recaps but um anyway the episode starts off with the ghost crew heading towards geonosis and hyperspace going there to rescue saw's team who went out of contact while looking for what the empire was trying to build there i wonder what it was and when they arrive there ezra kanan and rex go into the abandoned temple and they find saw's team members helmets lying all over the ground Saw has a really bad track record of losing people, as we've seen in Rogue One 2. They turn into a dead end and get ambushed by battle droids, a destroyer, and of course things start looking bad until Saw shows up and helps them destroy the destroyer and the rest of the droids. Rex and Saw embrace happily when they see each other, and then we switch to Sabine and Zeb, who found an operational shield generator, and Hera wants them to pull the deflector core so they can get chopper base a shield. Well, it's surprising they don't actually have a shield, I never realized that throughout this whole thing. <laughs> Um, and then Saw updates the rest of them, telling them that there's a surviving Geonosian bug that survived the Empire's Purge. That's the one that wiped out uh, Saw's team with the, with the battle droids. So they try and capture the bug to get more information out of him about exactly why the Empire was here and stuff like that. So they find a big open shaft in the center where they communicate with Hera because in the tunnels they have no contact. So they tell Hera about the operational battle droids, who then tell Sabine and Zeb, who oh. then look under the sand piles and see a ton of destroyer droids all around them hidden in the sand piles. They decide to try and carefully, carefully carry the deflector shield around the sleeping droids, hopefully not waking one of them because that would mean instant death. The Geonosian spots Ezra and the rest of them and activates all the droids, leaving Sabine and Zeb between Geonosian sand and a hard place. Saw decides the best way to save them is to get the control from the bug, so they make their way across the gap and they shut down the droid. We then get to the second half. I told you the first half was not not too much that was important for the most part. It was mostly just dialogue and little quips and stuff like that and reminiscence. Um, second half starts with Saw interrogating the droid for the Imperial secret and Ezra tries to step in and take a softer approach by talking to him more like nicely. Good cop, bad cop. Um, and the bug draws a circle inside of a circle in the sand, but, um, of course no one knows what that means. So, it looks eerily like the Death Star, which obviously it was, most likely. An Imperial cruiser, meanwhile, arrives in Geonosian atmosphere, and they spot the ghost as they do recon, and they try to take them down, because obviously they want a promotion, and the ghost is heavily wanted in the Rebels. Um, the bug, which Ezra happened to name Click Clack, because of the noise he makes, obviously, takes them to his home and they find he's holding a queen egg which could repopulate his entire species. So of course, um, Ezra and Saw have disagreements about what to do with the bug. Ezra taking the side of uh, letting them repopulate and Saw taking his harsher side of, you know, this is war, people die in wars, we need the bug, the mission is all that matters. Um, the Imperials start bombing the ghost, so Hera, Zeb, and Sabine take out the bombers and lower the ghost into the big open shaft from earlier and try to pick up um, the rest of the team in, in the shaft. Kanan and Saul make a compromise to take the bug and the egg back to Chopper Base for interrogation and then bring him back to Geonosis. It's a fair compromise. The crew meet Hera in the shaft and everyone gets on board as Saw tries to commandeer the ghost and make his own plans threatening to shoot the egg if anyone tries to stop him. The Empire descends on the shaft sending rocket troopers down. They all end up defending the ghost from the Empire including Sabine who uses that jetpack to go and wipe out the rest of the rocket troopers in one quick badass scene in this episode. So they end up having to go down deeper because the Imperials are cutting off their escape to go back up and they find Imperial gas canisters at the bottom where uh, Click Clack was trying to take them the whole time and that proves the Empire wiped out the Geonosians. So Saw has a change of heart and lets Click Clack go and Click Clack goes and hides himself and the egg down in that bottom area under a rock. Kanan assumes the circle within a circle meant the Imperial logo on the gas canister so they hook them up to the ghost to give Senate proof of the Empire's atrocities on Geonosis but 
the light cruiser starts firing down on them trying to bury the ghost and as the ghost flies up destroying the apparently very light armored cruiser with proton torpedoes they lose the canisters in the process of course because then that would create plot holes if they carried them back see i told you guys it was a short recap that's crazy for an hour long episode right i mean now on to the review i was slightly probably more than slightly disappointed with this episode just for the fact that it didn't have too much um i'll get into what it did do in a minute but um for the most part i was really disappointed with this episode just for the fact that i wanted so much more out of this uh to link to rogue one and really it was just more like a cameo of saw not really a prequel to rogue one for the most part i mean the only kind of things it has it just it just kind of is just the prequel to before galen urso sent bodhi rook to saw i mean other than that saw's obsession with trying to find evidence uh, against the empire it kind of highlights that and and his uh extremism a, a little bit not even to the point of rogue one but it just saw in here is very 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 still very light compared to what he was in rogue one and i mean yeah i know this is a, a, a disney xd show i get it but i still just thought i would see a lot more like what happened to saw's leg stuff like like just all these questions that are still there i was kind of hoping that would happen but that's not to say that later on maybe the ghost crew runs into saw again we don't know there's still two years before the events of rogue one so they could easily have saw come back in at a later date and explain closer up each each segment of what happened but as far as just this episode goes it just really felt like a saw cameo uh linking rogue one to this one so one of the things that did actually do that was pretty cool that disney's been doing a great job with is bridging uh other canons into star wars rebels and kind of bridging all their canons together so uh in the darth vader comic series vader went to geonosis to find droids to create his own personal army and while there he found a queen geonosin who had fused geonosins with the battle droids we know that click clack made sure a queen would survive the empire's genocide on geonosis um, Vader killed Karina the Great in the comic series, so it looks like Vader didn't kill the last of the Geonosians. Click Clack's queen is still somewhere out there, so that's that's pretty cool. They kind of that was a little bit of an Easter egg, um, but I mean, aside from that, like I said, I wanted to see a lot more of Saw. I wanted to see a lot more kind of gaps that I wanted filled between that and Rogue One. Um, and I just wish he was a little more darker, but I mean, in the end, nothing really came out of this episode again. So, I mean, in a way you can call this a filler because nothing came out of this episode except for the fact that they got a shield out of it. So other than that, I mean, that's, I was just slightly disappointed because of that. Um, I do like Sabine's use of the jetpack. That was pretty cool. Just seeing Saw in, in seeing how more lively he was and not injured at all it was just like this is a completely different thing from rogue one it was just i was really hoping for some answers with that so that's that's more why i was disappointed but you know just the episode itself was just felt like a little bit of a longer filler episode with hints at a lot of different stuff but uh in the end nothing came out of any of those hints um obviously it would create plot holes if they knew about the death star so i under i understand that one um, I'm hoping we see more of Saw in the future episodes of Rebels, though, and that's really all I can say about it, is that it was it was a decent episode, it was good to see Saw, but other than that, there's stuff I wish they had done, so that's it for Rebels Recap this week. Um, next week, they have the Imperial spy droid that might discover Chopper Base, which might lead the Rebels to Yavin 4, but with this and last season's of fillers... I have no clue if that's what's going to happen or not. That that I, in my head, that that's what I would do. But there's been so many fillers, you can you can honestly never guess what's going to happen in Rebels because, like, they can lean towards a certain thing, and just completely it ends up being a filler and nothing happens out of it. And it's like, okay, that's cool. So, but Rebels recap next week. Can't promise you a date. <laughs> um, I'll try to do it whenever I have time. Also, I'm going to do some random streams this week. It'll completely be random, but um, there might be a little bit of background noise because, like I said, this it's hectic right now for the next couple months. So, unorthodox schedule, kind of backgroundy noise streams, but if you want to watch the stream, you can tune it out. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, but I'll see you guys next time. Peace.